So, uh, this morning, a friend of mine said that they were about to read Dark Matter by Black, Blake Crouch. And I wrote, under his message, I wrote a message back saying, I hope you like it. I hope you like it. It's made me start thinking about, why does it matter? <laughs> why does it matter if someone likes what you like? And it's just an interesting thing that, you know, we sometimes think about. Um, you know, whether we like certain types of books or whether we like certain kinds of writers or how they write and things. And I thought it might be interesting to just talk about this for a minute, see what comes up in the comments. Um, because obviously uh, it, may, it's, it makes for a better conversation and it's, more, it's kind of interesting if people have different tastes and if there is some sort of uh, discussion about what was good and bad about the book and you've got a different opinion and all that, that can be really, really cool. So... <laughs> If we all like the same stuff, that would be terrible. But why is it that um, I wrote, I hope you like it? And I think it's, well, ser I mean, <laughs> there's an obvious point that uh, you'd want anyone to enjoy what they're doing um, because otherwise it's a, a negative experience and you don't want anyone to have a negative experience. But obviously, clearly, that's a book I really like. Um, I've talked about it on the channel a few times. Uh, but, you know, perhaps people can have the same taste, but then odd books they have a disagreement on which is always kind of fascinating and kind of interesting uh, and and ultimately that's because of probably i think mostly the author's voice i don't know the the narrative voice the, the way that the author writes and the way that they made decisions in uh what kind of depth of language they wanted to use and how they like pacing and stuff like that uh so i think you know, uh, that tends to be the main reason because uh, a compelling story to one person is not a compelling story to another person um, because certain things will grab their attention and make them feel like um, they couldn't put it down. Uh, I mean, um, th that that person, I don't know if, you, if you're watching this and you know who you are, but I thought I wouldn't name you, but this person had just read an S.A. Cosby book and S.A. Cosby is one of the big sort of revelations for me in the last year or so. Uh, absolutely blown away by the one book I read by him. And I bought another one, which I need to read, Blacked Up Wasteland. And I want to read everything he's done because you can just tell that he knows how to write a story. And I think it's kind of, and talking about that, I've, a, a few times on the channel I've, I've said that Stephen King knows how to tell a story, a great storyteller. But people have wildly different ideas about what's a good Stephen King book and what's a bad Stephen King book and when Stephen King's at his best, and when he's at his worst. And also, uh, he's got this reputation for doing bad endings, and I've not, I've never disliked an ending, and I've read tons of his books. So, uh, it's funny, isn't it? It's very subjective, clearly. I mean, this is stating the obvious, it is subjective, we know that. But it's interesting how minute that subjectivity is. Even a whole wave of people that would agree that Stephen King is a great storyteller, and a great writer, would pick different books that they, that they say were successful books and other books that they said were not successful books. And uh, that obviously creates an endless discussion, which is great. But why does it matter that... Um, I, I, why do I like it when someone has the same uh, favourites or whatever? And I think it's um, because you want to talk about the books you love. You, you can't wait to talk to them about it. You can't... It's not a validation thing, because obviously you can like what you like, but it's someone else that you can enthuse about a book that you really like. You can say, oh, what about that bit when that happened? Or isn't it great the way they did this? And um, if you like this, maybe you like this. Or um, yeah, have you read anything else by the author? You know, it, it can set off all sorts of different conversations. So on the one hand, it's, it, it is sometimes might look a bit weird or silly or superficial when someone says... Oh, I hope you like what you know. I hope you like it because I like it. But I think it's got there's lots of reasons why that makes sense. Um, so you know, you want that conversation to continue. It could spring off into other things like, oh wow, well, we've got the same taste. Well, maybe have you tried this? Have you tried that? And then, do you like this? Because if um, you get someone who never agrees with you about books, then you're not likely to recommend books to them. So it's the, the conversation is a little bit different. It's a little bit more objective and more small talky really oh so you read a book oh yeah what did you read you know whatever <laughs> rather than what did you read 
so I do think that's an interesting element to it. And one of the things I've found on BookTube is that uh, every single BookTuber, uh, and, and I'm talking about the big ones as well, so people like uh, Emily Fox and Murphy Napier and, and Moyd as well, and... Um, all these different people, they'll like something that you like and you'll be like, oh, cool, uh, this is interesting. I haven't, you know, you just discovered this channel or something. And then the more you watch it, there's like nuance, you know, oh, okay, you didn't like that one, but you like that one. Okay, so this, the, I've got my, like, say there's like three or four books in your head that are books that you love and they might only like one of them or they might only like two or three of them. Uh, and, you know, th there's no guarantee that what you recommend is going to be what someone else is going to like just because they like something else, either even something else by the same author. It doesn't necessarily translate. And some people will do videos saying, I'm never going to read this author again, they're terrible. And I've seen a few where they've talked about an author I've liked, and I've gone, oh. And you, and you think, am I a fool for liking that author? No, you're not. Of course you're not. Because what you like is what you like. Uh, and recently, actually recently, I... I mentioned Ready Player One on my channel for the first time. I never mentioned Ready Player One on the channel before because by the time I started doing BookTube, the, the tone had turned and it was like uh, seen as this sort of uh, something to criticise and say was awful writing and not worth the time of day on BookTube. And yeah, and that, was, that felt weird talking about that book on the channel because uh, it was something that I avoided talking about because it was like that I enjoyed it when I read it and it was like when it first came out everyone was saying oh yeah I've enjoyed this and then everyone started saying awful <laughs> or at least it felt like it but it doesn't matter does it because what you like you like and uh, uh, I just I, but I think it's really interesting how we get we sort of second guess ourselves oh should I like that if it's not really good you know and then you get to the other end of the spectrum where you've got people thinking they should like certain classics because it's a classic. And then there's pressure to not criticise it or not say it was boring or whatever um, because it, you somehow, you, you look, you could, or you might think you look illiterate or something. Uh, so there's lots of pressure to turn that into a judgement or, or at least be seen as being judged. Not so much you just turning into judgement but other people judging you on it. So yeah, I think there's lots of nuance to this, but ultimately, like what you like, and uh, I think not. Don't be too weird on someone who who says I hope you like it because they're just trying to share a conversation with you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. What is like to be